everyone welcome back to minecraft i was gonna say welcome back to city skylines but i don't think this looks like city skylines uh, but um uh, okay so i'll just get oh no i'll just put the rain i'll just put back the day okay so we left off over here so uh let's come over here and let's see initially what this square looks like well, as soon as you enter, so here it's kind of dirty. There's some dirt patches. It is because of Roman Lushin that lives up here, and he's he's kind of he he just he just bought some pigs from uh, down here, uh, uh, over here, and he she had to bring them back up, and he kind of made a mess, and the pigs were dirty, but you know it's just uh, okay. Uh, he didn't get cleaned up, but you know, no one does much because we're in a medieval city, and it's just so hard to muster. Um, people to take care of such things but okay so this is a red square which is the first marketplace we have in um vinci there are a bunch of shops uh let's start by from this part so as you enter there is this building over here which is the house of boolean mcgill interiors are not really done actually so uh but, but what is cool is they have a little balcony here, which as you can see from last episode, there's all these leaves here, so they can't even see or hear, and it just blocks them from the atrocities that happen in the orphanage over there. So if you guys uh, had, have not watched the last uh, last episode, you guys definitely should. And uh, it's about um, the orphanage that was over here, and a little story about them, and uh, the little courtyard they have here. So yeah, if you guys are interested in watching that, definitely should. So, and over here, the views are crazy. It's a uh, very cool place. So, uh, I like this balcony a lot. Anyway, let's get back down on the street level. So, uh, this over here is a tower that I built that I am particularly fond of. I really, really like it. It it looks kind of like a lighthouse, right, guys? It really does. But it, just does, it does not emit any light. It is just a tower... Uh, I built it for aesthetical reasons, obviously. I mean, it's not really being used or anything, but it's most likely for protection and whatnot from uh, barbarians on the other side of the Nostradamus Ocean. Because over here, I'll just show you guys real quick, there is this vast sea of sand, which is a... Yeah, it is a land of the enemies. These are very, very very ferocious men we have not built here yet but trust me that me and lp my friend which we play on the server and we build this map will for sure continue and it's called bravos so yeah so that's over here is uh that tower is the vachon tower and that is the cathedral saint gistvin which we can see in the mist which is not completed so we, we put a lot of those signs so that is a pretty interesting thing about this server so we're only two people me and my friend LP that we build this this map and uh, we've been doing it for two years now and it is solely a medieval map so over here if you go this is the prom the promenade Rudolph and over here there's like a, a Guino who sells uh, nice juicy steaks and uh, if you go in here Guino and Associates oh well this is their little shop and over here there's the stairs that lead up into the tower which um i could go up there but there isn't really not much to see i mean you get up to here and then you can look out the window but the view is much better from actually out of here so yeah so but i'll show you guys this, this little square here so over here there's like a little marketplace the julian's market and uh so here there's just like a bunch of little shops like here a bed no breakfast of Polly Paul. So he lives here. And if you guys know what a bed and breakfast concept is, it's just like uh, a place where you go and you eat, kind of like a hotel. But they also give you uh, breakfast. But here's just bed no breakfast. So yeah, Polly Paul ain't the best. She Here is um, the house of the Voyager. This Voyager's name is Hermes de Busigi. So if you come here, it's kind of just like a house of curiosities, just a bunch of weird things. They have cool books written by, um, what the year, by the way, guys, and we are on this map. We are in something like around in between the 1250 and 1300. So we are in, in um, the mid medieval 
times but so everything is pretty pretty bad you know there's the play going on there's uh you know it's just kind of bad it's just, but overall life was simple and i think life was i mean i don't know if life was better than now probably not probably really really not but I feel like I would have had a good time if I was born in the medieval times. I mean, if something was going to happen, I would probably just start running away or something. Like I would, I would take care of myself, and that's what I think uh, was interesting about that time. That like you could really completely screw up, or you could not screw up, but everything was just interesting. You know, there was just things going on all the time. So here is that. So you can just like sit here and you can read books. You can just look at this and notice the eye. The eye has some deep meaning. Uh, it probably won't come up for a few episodes, but there is an elf town over there beyond the mist, and the elf are rising. The elves are rising. They, yeah, there's just notice the eye, okay? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Over here, there is a blacksmith. So this is a pretty cool building. It is uh, blacksmith house of well, blacks the blacksmith of Tronal and Monarch. And uh, so yeah, so this is a blacksmith place. And um, you can come here. They have all these performances, and they work. Uh, there are two guys, Tronal and Monarch. And uh, while one guy works here, you know, sh putting them swords in the water, um, some other one can uh, can like uh, hit the the sword with a hammer. Ding, ding, ding. Something like that, you know? Like, literally, the sound would be this. Uh, but, yeah, and over here, there's a very cool thing with the new uh, block that was added in the patch of, of the magma block, which just really, really makes it a cool place of, like, a fire of a cool blacksmith place. And here's a chimney. Then, uh, if you come up here, they have, like, a few armors that they've stored that they're gonna uh, deliver to the, the customers eventually. A cool thing that I added is that over here there are these uh, these grills over here, those iron bars, and then there's these uh, trap doors. So uh, during winter when it's cold, they just open the trap doors, and uh, that's the warmth from the chimney comes in and it heats up the house or the building. But when it's super hot, they just close them, and uh, and then when once they're closed, it's it doesn't get super hot during the summer, you know. And uh, yeah, so this is the blacksmith. Then on this side, we have a very, very cool tavern, the Nostradamus Tavern, which is a very, very cool bar, basically, oh, or a tavern. You guys know what a tavern is. So uh, they have multiple places where you can sit down. They have a bunch of doors to enter as well, which is a very common for, for of a tavern, which is very central as well. Here, my friend built a piano, which, I mean, looks, I mean, kind of works, but it's more... Oh my god, I messed it up. It's more here just... Just because it was here for a very long time. And then when I built this, we just left it because of... Um, because of like a of sentimental value, kind of. Anyway, it looks weird a bit, maybe. But it's just there to stay. It's just like whatever. You know, here is another entrance to the tavern. And so yeah, so this is a very, very main tavern where like people just like always come but they have a second floor deuxième étage second étage second deuxième floor étage so you guys are probably gonna learn a bit of french well i following this series maybe you know why not <laughs> so um yeah so then over here it's a pretty cool tall ceiling area and there's also just like a few places where you can rent a room and sleep here but it's it's pretty bad conditions but whatever i mean if you're drunk you literally just pass out most people um just don't mind it right if you're drunk whatever and here too room available for rent to go talk to trono so uh yeah this is basically what's up with this place then over here is uh, the the blue brother complex it's sacred and private so here's a monastery guys uh, I'll just show you guys a little bit. Woo! <laughs> but it's not finished, and even if it would be, I wouldn't, wouldn't show you this right now because I still have other things to show you guys uh, right over here. So, um, and I don't want to, and I want to keep this episode on this area. 
so over here what is what, what is very cool is that we have this little um tunnel between these buildings that continues and leads to other houses for example here there lives a li woman a very smart woman by the name of Renet Mascouche she is a very very smart woman she has read a lot of books and uh, she is also a trader from a Latin country so she is of Latin origin I mean yeah don't think about that too much it's just there to sound interesting <laughs> so um, over here she has a very nice balcony you know it's all about that view boys and uh, yeah then second floor is not much but over here though is where she meets with all her clients because she is a trader and uh, this is where she meets with them and uh, maybe some sketchy not correct things happen here maybe but who's to say what because uh, everything could have been completely um, unjust back in the day in medieval times because we are in like 1247 something like that so yeah but they have a very nice room where she uh brings um people with whom she makes co signs contracts with and here there is a interesting looking balcony which leads on to this road and this giant building you see here which is only one building which is very huge is a monastery building so it is a building part of the clergy which i showed when i told you guys before that uh, like do not go there because it's sacred and it's private and the blue brothers live here this is the building so the tunnel over there over over here this is that tunnel where we were leads into this building which I won't show you guys right now and I'll just show you guys when I finish it not finish the building because it's not complete and this uh, thing with the orange roof here is that passage that which we were in so uh, I just showed you guys now the house of Renet Mascouche, but if we continue, here is the house of Roman Loshane. And uh, yeah, it's just a pretty cool little house. Not too many details, but obviously I put in a balcony. I love putting balconies and provides a very nice view. And uh, this house can also be obviously accessible from street level over here. But uh, yeah. It can, but it's just this tunnel is cool. It provides protection from invaders or such things. Or just uh, it's perfect. I mean, he has a bar right down here, you know. And there's also an entrance over here. This is called the the Vimes Passage, and you can climb from the Red Marketplace here. So this is the Red Marketplace, and uh, over here is something pretty cool. Over here is. She Dom Garibaldi and Dom Garibaldi is a person that rents boats for a living and oh so here it says uh whoa beware um this guy is not this is not a sincere establishment so you know such things would not be uncommon to find on walls and we still do now but in different forms such as graffiti and whatnot but graffiti's don't always have a a, a um they don't like say like a sentence or whatever but it is still a form of uh, of giving your opinion just like on, on walls and whatnot so um, over here if you come like I say you rent uh, boats and whatnot and when you sit here you talk to Dom Garibaldi that boy and uh, it's just a cool time and and then once you have you've signed you've paid the boats will be available on the Nishwa key so you just Walk a little bit, he shows you, he's like, oh, what's right over there, my friend, go and just follow the signs, you're going to find it. And uh, so then you walk, and uh, you're kind of like scratching your head, like, oh, I don't know, like, where am I going to go now? I hope I'm actually going to find that boat, he didn't trick me. But then you come down here, and the Leonidas port, where I showed you guys uh, the pigs, probably, like, uh, if you guys watch all the episodes. If you guys, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, never mind. <laughs> so, uh. Yeah, so you get here, and then you see K uh, Nishwa Key. Perfect. And you see this little boat here. A very small, cool sailboat called the Lucerne. And it says Garibaldi. So you know it's the guy. And then you can just take it, and you detach the rope, and off you are. But don't get too close to the other coast. Barbarians reside there. 
uh, watch out for that. That's why he signed because he knows about those guys, and uh, he doesn't want to. If something happens, you literally you've signed your house to his name. So this guy, that's why this guy over here says "arnak," which means um. Uh, I can't think of the exact word, but which means like a lot of good business, all legitimate business. This guy's, uh, this guy's, uh, you know. So yeah, and uh, I basically showed you guys most of what was on the red square. There still are um, buildings over here, which I'll probably show you in the next episode. Such buildings over here. So uh, I hope you guys liked it, and please let me know what you guys think of the series if. Uh, guys enjoy it if you guys don't uh regardless of what you guys of uh like if you guys think i would uh like your just let me know what you guys think of it you know just comment i love seeing your comments so um thanks for watching guys see you guys in the next one